Greg, you spoke about how investors extrapolate past performance of stocks, for example, into the future. This is kind of related to the concept of momentum. Can you discuss this, please? In statistics, we refer to this as serial correlation. But in layman's terms, what we're referring to is how past performance tends to lead to future performance because of security price memory and or investor behavior. So momentum investing is an important thing to be aware of. And it really flies on the heels of the efficient market theory. We do believe at Gerstein Fisher that markets do a good job of pricing risk. But we've also recognized that security prices don't appear to be a complete random walk. That there is some form of security price memory that exists. It appears almost as though that security prices today have some impact based on where they were yesterday. But what we've learned is that it's not actually the stocks or the securities that have the memory. It's the investors that are buying these securities that have the memory. What we've seen is that when investors have good prior experiences, they often believe that those past rising prices might lead to future rising prices. And similarly, we have found that investors who have had past declining price experiences tend to believe that their future prices will also decline. Because of this, we see winning securities in the market continue to win a little longer than they perhaps should. And we also see losing securities in the market continue to lose a little longer than they should. When we analyze this phenomenon in a paper that we actually wrote called Past Performance is Indicative of Future Beliefs, what we find is that investors often reduce their own personal long-term returns by something to the tune of one or two percentage points per year because of this behavior of chasing past returns.